Okay, this morning I'm going to show you how to embed your flash file into your Google site. So first of all, I've created a flash I've created a file that can be turned into a flash file here uh, using just to create a story. You could use any of the two simple programs for this like uh, to DIY or to create. Um, and when the trick is when you save your file, make sure you click the button or change the uh, thing at the by the file name to make sure you are saving an SWF copy copy of the file. So I'm going to save that file. I'm going to call this test2. Okay, then I'm going to come out of the two simple program. Okay, and I'm going to go into my sites, which I've already got up here. But if you've forgotten how to do that, then uh, go to your uh, your Google page, click on sites, um, which takes you to something like this. Click on my sites, and there's your sites. Now, if you've got a site that you're already using and you want to put your game or your story into that site, then click on that site. But if you're creating an entirely new site, click create new site. Uh, give that site a name. I'm going to call it test story site. Uh, very inventive. I'm going to choose a theme for it. I'm going to choose kind of a writing y notebooky theme. And I'm going to create a site. Okay, now here's my site. First thing I need to do is to create a page to store the flash files. Okay, so I'm going to create a page that I'm going to call flash store. Okay, and it needs to be a file cabinet type, type of storage. I'm going to put that page under home and create that page. The next thing I'm going to do is add the flash file to that store. So I'm going to add the file. I'm going to choose it. I'm going to find that file. I think too simple normally to save it straight to my documents. Yes, there it is. So it's not the one that says .2cs because that's the too simple one. If I click test2, that's prob probably it. But to check, go on to details and look at test2. Yes, it says it's a shockwave flash object. So that's the one I want. So I click open that. I call it a story I made. I'm going to upload that. Okay. Now, before you do anything else, we need to copy the link of that site. Okay. So I want to view that site there, and I copy the link at the top. So I click it and just Control C to copy that. Okay. Next, I need to go back to my site and create a new page to put that story into. So I'm going to call it my story. Very inventive again. And I want to put a different location for that. I don't want it under the flash door, I want it under the home page. And I want to make sure it says put page into home, and it's just a normal web page. So I'm going to create page there. Okay. Next, I need to insert my gadget that is the flash that holds the flash file. So I'm going to insert gadgets. Okay, and I've got mine already here, but if you don't know how to find it, click flash embed search for there. I'm just going to choose that one and select it. Okay. Now it says URL of SWF. That's the one I've just copied. So I'm going to make that all go blue, delete that and put in uh, by uh, doing control V the link that I've just had. Um, I'm going to call it my story and click OK. And have a look at how that looks. And that's okay, but I probably could go half again as big. So I'm going to click Edit Page, I'm going to click Properties, and I'm going to increase the width by 50% to 600, and make sure I change the width of the display to 600, and click OK, and click Save there. And there's my flash, uh, my flash file that I created in 2 Creator Story already in um, my Google site.